Welcome back to MicroBeerReviews.com, off location. Time for a good beer review from Great Divide Brewing Company. Um, I absolutely love their labels here. Or, excuse me, not labels, they're caps. Um, it's this bright orange. They all look the same. They are the wonderful city of Denver, Denver Colorado. Um, this is their Hercules Double IPA. I realize the lighting is not phenomenal. It's got kind of this uh, green label with this Hercules guy holding up the uh, dumbbells. Um, it says... Uh, Hercules is not for the faint of heart. It is, however, fit for the gods. Hercules delivers a huge amount of hops from start to finish. Its hefty backbone of nutty, malty sweetness balance its aggressive hop profile. Uh, gold medal, Australian International 2007. Australian International Medal Silver 2008. World 50 Best in the International Challenge 2006. So this thing's been around for a while, won a lot of award. It is 10% ABVs. The IBUs, I believe, are unknown on this one. Um, they do do a stamp on the uh, brewing brewing date. Um, it's available in all kinds of things uh, year-round. So you've got uh, bottles and a four-pack. A four-pack, I think, was like $12 or $13, which isn't bad. Kegs, 22-ounce big bomber bottles um, so it's got this nutty 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 backbone multi sweetness aggressively hot profile so I don't know the hops I did a little bit of research um, it's one of those deals where this market with IPAs if you watch any of my videos you know that this is my favorite blend of beer I'm very particular about it I also am very um, critical in terms of whether I'll buy it again but I think I'm also fair but again this is one of those um, kind of blends that, you know, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So, interesting look here. Very, very uh, caramely, uh, nice kind of uh, copper color. A lot of stuff floating around. Um, now, this beer was brewed, let's see, one, two, three, four, almost four months ago. So, this is on the older side of what I like to drink IPAs for. And double IPAs, especially at 10%. With a lot of malt in it, this does happen. So, might have a little bit of a disadvantage with the date, um, but fairly clear otherwise. Almost no head on it. It laces the glass a lot, and it should. Ten percent. Smells awesome. This smells really good. Um, it's sweet. It's sugary. It's caramely. Definitely has a hot background characteristic to it. A little bit of booziness to it. Ten percent. It should be. Um, has a little bit of a that pininess to it but not a ton it's got a it's got a nice aroma i like the aroma a lot actually but you can definitely tell it's uh kicking it up there on the abvs uh quite a bit so cheers let's take the old taste test that's good wow that's really good um it's sweet. It's definitely sugary. It's definitely caramely. It definitely has a, a lot of the multi characteristics, which it said in the description, which I appreciate, um, and, and letting you know what you're going to get. It's got a lot of kind of punch to it um, with, you can definitely tell there's uh, some nice hops to it. It's, it's a little bit downplayed with the amount of malts, um, but you can kind of taste that pininess, a little bit of, little bit of graininess, a little bit of breadiness, a little bit of... of um, of what I call that big mouthfeel double IPA. It's got a big pound in your mouth. Actually, finishes very dry, um, easy to drink. The booziness is much more in the aroma than the flavor, which I appreciate as well. Um, it's This is really good. Um, that's great. I mean, for 10%, it finishes like that. Um, so they've done a really good job with brewing it. Um, I would like to get this fresher. I don't like all this stuff floating around. So this is one of those beers where I would probably pour, let it sit for a couple of minutes, let all that settle down, and you're good to go. I would drink this really cold. A lot of double IPAs I like when they're really, really cold because I think it's also one of those, this is one of those types of beers that some of the malts will be downplayed and some of the other flavors will definitely take a little bit of a, of a top top shelf. So... I like this one a lot. Um, I would buy it again. 
Uh, we read a beer through one to five. They give us about a three and a half. I do, I do think this is, um, again, something I would revisit. I would like, again, to repeat myself, get it a little bit fresher, see what it's like that way. And I bet this is phenomenal on draft. Uh, really cold. So uh, let us know if you try it, please. Uh, leave comments on our YouTube channel or our website. Let us know about the all Hercules Double IPA. Uh, we uh, upload all the time. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate it. And as always, we will see you again real soon. Cheers.